Hi you guys, um, today I want to be talking to you guys about um, discrimination in the gay community and what a lot of people don't seem to understand is that it also happens a lot in schools and when I say this it's pretty much the same thing that happens out in public it's being called a faggot or whatever name the person who is making fun of you comes up with um, and a lot of people focus on that ridicule and they focus on being bullied and they focus on how do I improve myself to where I'm not bullied. It's not a matter of improving yourself, it's a matter of accepting the fact that not everyone is going to be accepting of you. Um, what I mean by that is a lot of times you have to kind of have fun with it. You have to make a joke about the fact that you are getting made fun of. You have to make a joke out of it. Like, um, I have my ears stretched, or I'm, stretched, or I'm stretching them to, um, seven eights, and my friend keeps telling me, oh my gosh, you're gonna have quarters in your ears, and I'm like, what are you even talking about? Like, half the insults, they don't even make sense, and half the time, um, people are just really oversensitive and they take the name calling too seriously. Um, I'm not saying that it, doesn't make, that it makes it right or that it makes it wrong, because, well, it is wrong, but straight into a rant. Um, the main thing that you can do, though, is, for example, I'm pansexual, and a lot of people will tell me that, oh, you're not pansexual, you're bisexual. There's not a difference. Yes, there's quite a big difference between pansexual and bisexual. Bisexual is the person having an interest in both genders, female and male, and pansexuality is when you... gender doesn't really register. Like, if I'm attracted to you, I'm attracted to you. If I want to pursue, pursue, pursue a romantic relationship with you, odds are I'm going to try. Um, The more accepting you are of yourself, the more accepting others are going to be of you. Um, the same thing with confidence. The more confident that you act, um, the more confidence that you project, the more people are going to be like, oh, hey, I want to be your friend. That's what's up. And it's really the same thing with, you know, being gay or being lesbian or being pansexual. Um, you know, and if you are a Christian or a Catholic or whatever, and I don't know religion, I'm just saying, but if you are religious in any way, um, you know, God will accept you um, if you're afraid of that. If you're having a very difficult time um, accepting the fact or if you're confused and need to talk to someone, um, anyone on this channel will talk to you. Um, my Tumblr link will be below if you want to send me a message and vent, because um, for me it was very confusing. I thought for the longest time that I was bi, but I'm not, and that's okay. And for the longest time I was like really unattracted to guys, and I was very attracted to girls, and um, I thought I was a lesbian, and <laughs> I'm not, you know, but lesbians are cool, my best friend's a lesbian, so um, really it's just a matter of the more accepting you are of yourself, the more accepting others will be. Um, granted, discrimination will continue to happen. Um, just like people who have tattoos or piercings or people who, um, I don't know, people who are different from society's standards. Discrimination will continue to happen and it will never go away completely, just like with women's rights. Um, yes, we are allowed to vote now. Yes, we have more freedom. But however, most women are not being paid as equal to men. In the work environment, depending on the job, it's it's still an ongoing process, and um, some things will or will not be acknowledged, and that's just how the world works. But the more that you believe in yourself, and the more that you push through all the excuse my language, but all the bullshit that people tell you, and just ignore it. As long as you're happy with yourself, that is all that matters. As long as you can say to yourself when you wake up in the morning, "Hey, I'm gay." or hey, I'm a lesbian, or whatever you are, it's going to make you feel ten times better. I guarantee it. Seriously. 
the more that you, and this goes with everything, the more you say that you're happy about yourself and you like how your hair looks or how your eyes look or your skin tone or whatever, you know, the more accepting others are going to be of you. Um, but like I said, it gets easier. It's just an ongoing battle. I know Rhode Island was just, um, just legalized gay marriage. And that's awesome. It's just, it's a process. But there's still going to be people who are going to discriminate and ridicule because they're either A, narrow-minded, B, they are... I, I'm kind of afraid to say this, but I, I don't care. Um, they're religious, and that's fine. Um, some people believe certain things, and that's fine. And some people are just, they don't want to try to understand it because it's too complex for them, and they may not realize it. But that's, that's the truth. Um... I've totally lost my train of thought because I didn't write an outline for this video, but <sighs> anyways, I'm going to go and I hope you guys are having a great, great day. And remember, it's okay to be a, I swear I saw that on a t-shirt, I'm not even kidding, but um, yeah, I'm going to go and I'll see you guys next Friday, subscribe and watch the other videos on the channel because they're awesome. And the people are really nice, especially Cassie. She is just such a sweetheart. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye!